six of the Prison Architect Let's Play. Today we're going to be building a workshop and trying to get some other things built and it's going to be pretty fun. So I think probably best to start off with the workshop of course since that's what we said we were going to be doing today. Uh, we're going to want some, some saws. Of, uh, five saws. Uh, temporarily five presses uh, and then I think we shall expand later so there should be enough power in this capacitor which goes over to here to power everything which is good because uh, we want to make sure everything's powered up otherwise we could have some problems we've got all of our prisoners sleeping uh, food being cooked well not being cooked yet but you know it's gonna happen soon uh, I'm thinking I want to actually do the metal detector thing since a lot of people in the comments are sort of saying we need metal detectors. So uh, let's get that going as well. So I'm going to have the metal detectors sort of on the way in just before the door. So we're going to need these little bits to stop them going around them. I don't think we're going to need one for the cleaning cupboard. I could be wrong, but I'm not going to put one there. And uh, I think I'm actually going to block off this bit and make this room here, well not this room, but this area here sort of staff only. Or maybe not specifically that bit, but that. I don't know actually, I'm kind of thinking what to do. Um, no, I am going to put I'm going to put some stuff there so I can have some metal detectors to stop them being able to smuggle stuff around that way. Alright, so we are going to want to connect these via some cable. There we go, cabled up. That's going to be connected soon enough. So that's the workshop done. Uh, we've got that. Uh, we're going to want to actually set some workshop safe connections. Let's do two per day, why not? Uh, probably change that at some point, but we may as well right now. And we've got alcoholics therapy. Lots of stuff going actually. Kitchen safety and hygiene is going. It's pretty good. So we're just waiting on a couple more walls to be installed. Uh, we'll start installing the metal detectors. Which annoyingly don't show up. Um, unless you're a, you press the plus anymore. They used to, and I don't like that. I wish they did. Alright, so we're going to have some metal detectors there and there. Let's have some like that. Some like that. That should be okay. Yeah, that's pretty much every possible way for them to get stuff in, covered. Got metal detectors on there and there to stop them bringing in things. Uh, some other people have suggested doing a shakedown. And, whoa, we have 21 prisoners suppressed? Nice. Um, I like suppressing prisoners because they don't kick off as much. Alright, uh, so we're going to start a shakedown and speed up the game. Otherwise, it's going to take ages for them to complete this shakedown. I'm just going to have a sip of my drink for a second. I'm quickly going to check that. It's getting near to the top. But uh, that's all of the metal detectors installed. Oh, except two. It's very close. That is very close indeed to being overloaded. So I think if we build any more prison, we're going to have to get another power capacitor and possibly another uh, power station. In fact, I might even switch it around and just have this powering these two metal detectors here. Shit, I'll probably have it powering that one, I think. I don't know. It depends. Uh, I'm thinking we might need more guards, which wouldn't really be that much of a bad thing. Um, we're probably going to want to have a metal detector there, just in front of that door as well. So I'm going to 
install that quickly. And metal detector. Metal detector, there we go. So, ooh, someone's got a tunnel. Oh, I see how it is, prisoners. You're trying to escape me, are you? No, that's not good. Let's remove those. Let's get that removed. Because we don't want them being able to tunnel out. That's not, that's not good at all. They're all just setting off the metal detectors, like, everywhere. Uh, I think there's, like, a massive supply and demand for contraband. Yeah, there is tools, narcotics, luxuries. They're just all over the place. We really need... Yeah, I'm going to get some more guards. So we can search faster. I'm going to go up to 15. And I'm actually going to sack a few workmen. Because we don't need 15 anymore. I'm going to go down to 10. So we still got quite a few. Uh, but... Why are they storing ingredients in the storage? What? Why is that a thing? Why are they storing ingredients? I'm confused. That doesn't really make any sense, but whatever. Let's just uh, let's just roll with it. Let's just roll with it and pretend uh, we didn't notice. Um, there's two people in one solitary cell. That's not good. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, this really isn't going well, is it, is it at all? Um, we haven't even finished connecting up these yet, because I regretted to put a cable between all of them. So let's that, get that going properly. We've got the trees growing, got, we're finding contraband everywhere. So far we've found one drill, one hammer, one drugs, one lighter, two cell phones, three saws, one cigs, one poison, one booze, four medicine, and four spoons. We just found another cigs as well. In fact, we're still finding stuff. Uh, it's, it's really not going well, to be honest. I think because we found the alcohol, we should... Oh, well, maybe not. I thought that made people get referred for the alcoholics therapy, but evidently not. Uh, there's no one working the door control, which isn't good. Because all of the doors that were last open have stayed open. All of the ones that weren't open have closed. Now that's the one for work, I think. Yeah, it is. Found some more drugs. Some more spoons and some more medicine. Uh, I don't really see why medicine's contraband, because some prisoners might need it. Like, to stay alive. What's wrong with him? Is he alright? Oh, he's, he's, they found some drugs on him, so he's being uh, locked down. We're going to need way more solitary cells. I've just realised that we have, like, way, way too many people. How many can we fit? We could fit a bunch more in. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Solitary. So we'll keep those ones that we already have, and we'll just add a few extra ones. Solitary door. Lovely. There we go. So the shakedown has finished. Let's see how the contraband's doing. Still some uh, supply. There's a lot of demand, but still a hell of a lot of supply with things. So, uh, yeah. Probably want to be careful with that. Um, hmm, pardon me. Um, righty then, righty then, righty then, righty then. So our guards that are patrolling around the outside are doing okay. Uh, I think we want to get a kennel or something in this area. Uh, in fact, this area here is probably going to be like an armory slash kennel slash whatever else. Uh, I think I'm going to plan it out quick, actually. So if we had it go, like, not that big. It needs to be, like... 12 big, maybe? We could have that as the way in for the... Yeah, but we'll, we'll do that, but we'll do it a little bit further over. So that will be the kennel, and this room will be the armory. Yeah? Yes, let's do that. So let's get a building foundation of brick. Let's place that down and get that going. 
Uh, we'll have a double jail door for it. And yeah, that'll finish pretty soon. Now, I don't really want to plug anything else into this uh, power station here, because it literally is on the verge of uh, just turning off, because it's so overloaded. So, I think... I think, I think, I think... I'm going to dismantle that cable right there. And then I'm also going to dismantle that cable. And I'm going to use the utilities to connect those two together. But I'm going to disconnect the kitchen before I connect it, because then it'll trip the power. Otherwise, so let's just fix that. We want to open that door, but I'm gonna leave that locked open for now. Obviously, that will change, uh, but for the moment, it shall stay locked open. Right, so connect the power thing there. That should reconnect the kitchen, but to this power station instead of that one. So you see how much power that's relieved on this one. It's relieved quite a lot. So we're going to want to have a power cable running in, like so. And that should connect everything up. Just for the sake of making it even, I'm going to add another light there. Because the, it like, looks like it's missing a light. Righty then. Let's see. So we've got the workshop done. So that's the first objective for today. And then let's start getting this done. So we're going to want brick wall. And brick wall. Uh, I'm going to use some object things for this. So we're going to have one there, and one there. One there, one there. And that doesn't work out right. So maybe if we did it like this. Put a two gap in the middle. I'm so sorry if you can hear that. That's some, uh, some local scrap men. Driving around looking for scrap those buttholes. Righty then, so a heavy set door to stop even the hardest of prisoners. I think I might go with a remote door and then have it sort of, so they can only, they can only get in if someone here lets them in. Ooh. Ooh, no, 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 no. I shall have the first one as a remote door. And then the rest can be solitary doors, because the solitary doors are a lot harder to break. Um, so the prisoners... I don't, I don't want prisoners getting in here, because then they'll all just become armed to the teeth. With machine guns and weapons and stuff. So we don't want that. Um, Alright, I actually need to hook up a door servo to this. Otherwise, they are stuck. Let's get a door servo installed. That guard can't get through either because there's no door servo. Neither can that one. Oh dear. I can lock it open, so that's alright. Who's installing the door servo? Oh, he is. There we go. He's just running. There we go. Come on, my friend. Run. Run, you fool. So we want that connected to there. Which means we should then be able to set that mode to normal. And that door should then open with the commands. Right, so we're going to want a kennel in here. The whole room, not just that bit, because I uh, misclicked. And then we're going to have an armory in there. I don't know why indoors has failed. No, there we go, that's bad. It's actually started working now. So we're going to want dog crates, which I'm just going to go mental with for the moment. And then in here, we are going to want weapons racks, guard lockers, and tables. So let's actually think through this. 
let's have like like that and then we'll have like two weapons racks on the side or three let's go with three why not and then let's just have like a bunch of weapons racks down the sides because I'm going with the same a similar plan to what I had last time which is that uh, this prison is going to start off as a uh, minimum security but then over time I'm going to transfer it into uh, a what's it what's it called I'm gonna transfer it into a high security so uh, yeah we need to remember that uh, which is why I've got a crap ton of lockers because we're gonna have a crap ton of uh, armed guards eventually uh, we are going to want some dogs, uh, but I'm going to just set the deployment points for that first. We're going to have one, one down there, one down there, and then let's actually hire some dogs. So we're going to get two dogs for now. In fact, I'm going to get three, because then the one that's not doing anything will just stay in here. So uh, if, for some reason, uh, they need to do anything, say... Uh, if someone tries to break into the armory, they can just sort of run and get them. Which is good. Uh, these ones are going to be circling up and down, obviously, which is good. Should give us some indications, unless there's, if there's like a tunnel being dug. So far we've only had one tunnel start to be dug. So I think that's pretty good, that's a good achievement. Like how he's just like in with the accountant, you know, normal. Um, right, righty, righty, right. Ooh, there's lots of, uh, he was found with, what was he found with? Weapons? Tools. So they're the things that are being sort of smuggled in, which obviously isn't good. Uh, I might want to actually set some people working in, in here. I'll put all 20, even though there's only one qualified person right now. Which obviously isn't good. Where is it? Let's see. Workshop safety. There's ten interested, one passed. No one's actually doing it right now, though. Because, obviously, they don't really want to sign up. They're interested, but they don't want to sign up. Right, right, right. Righty, right, right. Is there actually grass? Th yeah, there is. I can't remember putting grass there. Obviously, I must have, but I can't remember doing it. Um, right, I do want to... I've said right a hell of a lot, haven't I? I mean, if I say right and more, I'm just going to say right forever. And that's right, right weird, that is. Right, let's... I'm going to start building the three-wide path around the entire place. I'm going to put a jail door there. And one down there, like so. And I think I'm going to go over this little bit here with some paving stone, too. So that's going to be the sort of route around the outside. I am going to put lights on it eventually. I think I might plan that out. Because I want them to be spaced properly and everything. You know, because mild OCD. Uh, <laughs> which I don't think I actually have, but I just like having things spaced properly. Which isn't that bad, really. Um, but yes, we're going to get that going, and I think I'm going to see you next time. It's been a very productive episode, we've got a lot done, and I hope you enjoy. See you next time, goodbye.